Okay. The current leader of the SPP, the one we don't should see, get an intention for let Sri Lanka go before, for let Salon better. Yeah. According to his look and power pass, Salon go better. And we don't know see from experience, for any nation for better, the nation be for be educated. And even take education as a flagship. But not only take as a flagship, putting a lot of money into it. You make sure see education for the, all of their little children is free. The access. And that is very key. Because nobody's not doing our land. Family, this Nababa Sheikh, the people, the Penda and political offender with the program do don't clean. This is Jet Top for Music, sweet music production. Do don't clean, do. And if what can this, where they educate you? Do don't clean, do. And if what can this, where they inform you? Do don't clean, do. And if what can this, where they entertain you? Good day, honorable Alaji Alpha Khan, aka AK eleven. I really, really appreciate for we you honor me for kind interview of this afternoon today, right down at Freetown on the 4th of May 2023. And you welcome to the program, Do Don't Clean, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Baba Sheikh. It's been a long time while you watched Do Don't Clean. And for me today, uh, a very momentous occasion. That you did free time, first of all, because you only see you nothing. And now uh, that you are in my office, you're welcome. And thank you for the opportunity for let me say dinner. Do who don't clean. Yes, sir. Yeah, thanks so very much, sir. And um, as a legend, do you go give Fambulem a short background history about your political adventure? Nasalo? Yeah. Just short one. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Babashek. My involvement in politics began quite early in my life. From the age of 10 years, in 1962, when they didn't get that general election in 1962, one of we uncooled them, and Loko Masama, and Bengali Mansari, in the contest for the APC in Port Local West. And when they did all of the electioneering business, now Port Local have been the headquarters. So every activity in the district in the referral to Port Local. So Babangali Mansari at the time, now we house Nadevi the Lodge with all of the supporters when they come. So from that time, now we them in the same, when they bring the box them for count, now ask the school, now for Nabaru, now for Boko. Now we did the day, forgot the box them. From 1962, I don't be some kind of a sympathizer for the APC, you have been too young for be a supporter. But that time, the inclination has always been that we go the uh, support the APC. Then in 1964, when uh, Sir Albert Magai 
succeeding brothers and military my guy. He, intend, he decided to spread the party, the SLP, all over the north. So one of the first places where they go to Port Local District. And since the Paramount Chief at the time, Chief Arikani Modi III, okay. will be one of the pillars of the SLP during its formation in 1951. Yeah. Itself being all of the elders and stakeholders in Port Local. One such stakeholder, Nabi Migrama, Aja, Fagmata Titi, Kanu, are one of the first people that the way the make Mami Queen. And because we, the day now, when they make a Mami Queen, Nabi Nabi the Elan boy, we be the same, and look at what some of them call the family them to come to the coronation. Maybe they go inform, inform them, come see the mommy, they can't come the mommy, the mommy queen. So we maybe get the message, travel all over the district for informing people. So from that time I've been involved. And the granny, he will be the SLP for a long time. Come 1967, tide change. The APC can develop momentum through the grassroots mobilization with the young people like the term, they're all involved. And we are the main breadwinner of the family, the Shaka Kano, who himself came and joined the movement for the APC from the Furami College days in 1967. And as such, they be able for make all the young people make a so follow them. By which time we didn't come down the free town and they committed it. So in 1967, when that 33, 32 result they come out, mm -hmm. when they were in Shaka Stevens, in March 1967, only for them they arrest them within a few hours. When they see that they're ready for Karen Gubamba to for we will exile them. We, like the young people in Africa, especially from the southern end, mm -hmm. and Sakina Road, Mountain Court area, we will mobilize. We go to our state house, state avenue, we did it, we begin to pull, then we go to Motukasha City and block the road, so we barricade the state house. We did it, shoot out, take place, so we will collect them, we will tell them, we will have the main foot, and then uh, things developed in the country. The military took over. We get the lands of the They announced martial law. And then, but in 1968, counter coups by uh, a warrant officer, Patrick Conte, and others, then turned the country to Shaka Stephen II. Brigade Bangura, William Foskey, he handed over. To, no, no, that's the when, yeah, to Justice Smith, then come the NPRC, NRC, NRC came and take over. But then, but he continued and reversed that campaign and then passed the baton to Bangura, who immediately called in Shaka Stevens from Guinea and handed over power to him. So that was 1968, and it turned that way, APC, the rule, and so it started. <coughs> it continued until 1971, <coughs> when they came with the Republican. Republican constitution. The country became a one party state in 1971. By 1972, we don't left now. We're going back to Costa Rica. Come back in 1980, 1990. Of course, still fall into the ABC, uh, the ABC basket yeah. of political dispensation. I did then with the government and that. But as a young person, I've been the lecturer for the college at the time, at the same time, I've been doing some sort of business. But when the country, Dr. Joseph Sadu, decides to forget the multi-party uh, 
constitution in 1991, for it turned the country into uh, uh, civilian rule, and I tell you, I take the full membership. I think it's in 1991 in Protocol. Then I come, you can contest Naya, Freetown Central 1. Yeah. I tell you, I'm in the MBCC, the SRTP. We may not be me sort of rival at the time. But of course we built up momentum and I was going to win that election in 1991. Then in 1992, 1992, but before the elections, of course the NPRC took over in 1992 and then we go into the military war. Yeah. Four years. 1996, the uh, multi-party elections come. Of course still supported the ABC at the time and the joint but um, the ABC not be able to win. We get uh, five seats at a time. Maybe proportional representation. Yeah. Five seats at a time. And then uh, they continue. But while they were there, because of the largesse and the democratic approach of President uh, Amat Jankaba, he opened the space for all our parties for growth. Yeah. So the ABC grew to the extent that by 2001, when they make an inspector leader of the APC, then we all became active members. Oh, okay. So in 2002, we said joined the race, became a member of parliament again under proportional representation for the local district. So at that, we were in parliament from 2002 to 2007, and I think we did very well. We were only 27 in number, because in 19, 2001, President Amati Jankaba was so popular that in the election he gets over 71 percent of the vote and had 85 seats in parliament. We are 27 we get with a 22 percent for we, the presidential candidates at the time. We used that period in parliament from 2007, uh, 2002 to 2007, for build party, for reach out to the grassroots, for telling them the ideals of the party and of course the leader we get at that time. He was unblemished. And this corona was unblemished at that time and we all follow around and send the message. So when the elections come, people had a new man with nobody no man for any other thing. Yeah. So at the end of the day, people followed the story. And we all went in and he win in 2007. When he win in 2007, first he made me Minister of Presidential Affairs for the Nyara. Then about a year later, he said, well, since you're a mining engineer, and this mining is not happening in Sierra Leone, I think say, now you know, you're able to I tell us, they don't send me there, because the person where they're there now, the incumbent in the field, say, now you make people up. I say, no, I say, I if you go there, things will change. And of course, I went to the Ministry of Mineral Resources and Political Affairs, because you joined that. Yeah. So we need for the continue, for the return, the State House. So they formed the Ministry of Political uh, Mineral Resources and Political Affairs. That was the first time that happened. And they combined into the ministries there. So I did it uh, from 2009 to December 2010 when he moved me back to it moved me into the Political Affairs Ministry. But before then, the mining at that time would be back to it and such that African minerals won't come. London mining won't come. Of gold, and a lot of other small small companies, they revive. Then they buy an ore in Ferenbea, you will not discover 10 billion tons of iron ore there. And then, of course, my own situation as a mine engineer, I always believe that a company of the application is yeah. for Siam. So, me and the company had an agreement that within 18 months, if they were not able, they were not able for. Uh, Start exporting iron ore from Ferenbea. We will take the license back. But they did it because they accelerate all the work and build the railway, 200 kilometers of railway from Ferenbea to the railhead at Marampa Lanzar. We continue to prepare and repair the old bridges. And that, that is hard. In 2010-11, Sierra Leone started exporting iron ore again in big, in big uh, uh, dimensions. So, the extent that before the end of the year, 
Salum became the fastest growing nation yeah. in the world. So we were doing well at the time. And then by 2010, 2011, everything was doing good. 2012 was also good because that is when I was able to win the second term because of the performance. Yeah. The mining was working, the roads were being built, things were doing and working. And of course, everything was quiet, peaceful. Nobody knew with their book. The current president himself contested the 2012 elections, but he conceded defeat when they announced the result. He goes to the house, he goes shake the president's hand. He said, Mr. President, you are my leader, you are my president. He turned him back again. Number one. Yeah. Because we left me, they run the country. And then by 2013, in March, the Bull and I strike. So everything reversed. But because Ebola was concentrated only in Mano River, i.e. Liberia, Sweden, and Guinea, we even get a lot of support from other countries who yeah. can help you. So that they go first the one here, yes. make it original in place. In fact, I remember I did a BBC and CNN interview when I called on the then President Obama and Prime Minister Cameron. I tell them, see, this is the beginning of the Third World War. A world war that is not fought with weapons, yeah. but biological warfare. Now it's come. It's now invasion by virus who will not say come out. Today, Sierra Leone, Liberia, and Guinea are the forefront. If we don't try and contain it here, it will spread to Africa, America, to England. So it better let me can help you. No better now. We don't know how it spread. It will spread all over the world and it become a pandemic. That will be difficult to handle. So, after some time, America called, sorry, England called a conference in Sierra Leone, FET. Then commit seven hundred and fifty million pounds or something like that. America put uh, one point five billion dollars, all that sort of thing. And before you know it, everybody was here to help us to fight. Yeah. The British came here. The Americans went to Liberia. The French went to put in the President Holland, the Prime Minister of France, Holland, Francois Holland, the Prime Minister of France. So it is a good. Again, all men deploying tents, deploying soldiers, and build hospitals and all that. You know, even us at our own scale, when things were getting worse, like a miso, when Portugal was uh, really the epicenter of Ebola and all that, I mean, if I left my office in Africa and I moved in 2013 to stay in Portugal, which I did since I got here, I'm not going to get my dad today. At the end of the day, I'll be able to help government. From there, we're able to set up, uh, we can set up uh, holding centers and even treatment hospitals. I have two, the one of my four kids, 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 the one I get to holding centers in Lunge and all that. So at the end of the day, I've been dealing at the forefront, I the work with the WHO, and I work with the World Bank, where we really and they run around. around for help for, and of course the BFP, then they support, support, they support, for feeding support, right? So when the situation became worse and we didn't know what to do, we said, first of all, my own, I write the manual, how to fix the Ebola colony eradication, Ebola eradication strategy, and presented it to cabinet, and it was received with a standing innovation by my colleagues, including the president, now we use a FET, and it was so that when the, uh, the Zika or whatever, the Zika or whatever, the, the, the other uh, mosquito uh, uh, virus came from Brazil, that was when they also used a similar methods for pull the army, pull the police, yeah. you know, for comfort, this disease, and they'll just leave on to the doctors. So that is how been busy with that. So at that time I was Minister of Information and Communication. Then in uh, 2016, just to roll matters, I decided to say when the president is going one for succeed him, but I mean look at all look at all look as he said I mean you know more we very close yeah. I know how Usai to put the last food stop. So we know Usai for becoming the capital letter for continuing. So I uh, can put me beat. But other people came, and I told them, I said, if, uh, no 
ini sudah si umat minu si kudis mana minu dan dan Saudi Arabian sih come about begin the princess I tell us the princess and the lady go before handover exactly to the possibility of train we will not hand over the vehicles because we are not trained. If we will hand over to somebody else, we will not understand. Exactly. We will not know. 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 So that is the difficulty they are facing now. But as you say, in those five years, between 2018 and 2022, we are president beyond the whole this country. They don't just say you're a Democrat. They don't just say you're a tolerant person. Okay, and let me stop their force because they can't show the present day politics. Yeah, thanks so very much for this brief background with Hungary on a political adventure in a salon. And um, you don't serve the APC for so long. So why did you sudden change from APC to SLPP? Well, the current leader of the SLPP, a listening leader, okay. the current leader of the SLPP, the one we don't should see, get an intention for let Sri Lanka go before, for let Salon better, yeah. according to his slogan, power pass Salon go better. And we don't know see from experience, for any nation for better, the nation will for be educated. And even take education as a flagship. But well, not only take it as a flagship, putting a lot of money into it. It makes sure see education for the, all of Sierra Leone's children is free. The access. And that is very key. Because nobody knows we know our land. Nobody knows we know our land picking land. But when we I mean, pay for school, some people will get four or five picking. So the other two, they can left them and say, we left, go work. What can I help you at the farm? So that we will pay for the other one, which is what happened to some of us. They're not able to educate all of us. We can therefore take some of the family, people that we made in the same grandpa and all that. We go to school, then go to the farm. And as such, you can see the difference in development between we go to school and reach the level we reach. And then we just begin and give a stop. Yeah. At the end of the day, and you can for help them to come up in the sepulchre. But this way we the to Julius Mada Gilgon put them in the Everybody get access, equal access to Sarah's education for the Sarah children. So I make a king call them the equalizer of opportunities. Equalize opportunities for everyone, whether you are in Tongwa or in Godrich, whether you are in uh, Bintiwala or you are in Bomaru. The point is that education, quality, and access is the same for everybody. <coughs> Except you decide you want to be picking a private school. But if not for the government school, all the opportunities where they get the, the school fees that they pay, school feeding that they help, the learning materials, books and all that, teaching materials for the school teachers and all that, that one they need. So you see say the level of education and the pace of execution don't accelerate as Sierra Leone. We have about 2.7 million to 3 million people now at school, and government is paying for all of those. One of the wonderful things that happened is that during the time when we did go to school, when education, you get for pay for exam fees, you get to pay for that, and all that time people had to stay away from school because of lack of money. Most people are able to qualify for going to university in any school or any class. Like when we take the O levels, just the O levels, uh, St. Francis School, with uh, my colleagues in a class of about 45. Now, only two of we be able to get qualification enough to enter university. But now, uh, the former uh, chief medical officer, Dr. Shekou Kizitu, Tao, and myself, that we will be able to pass enough. For go university, when we go from six, then you go from the college. And from the college, that's from the grammar school also. We will sit there, we were over 30 or 40 of us, and we five or six, then you get 
we are able to pass enough for the Kagwe England directly with the scholarship. But some people get for left school. Yeah. And these are very classical things. It will be happy. The very famous uh, Dr. Lynch, Christopher Lynch, one of the famous surgeons in England, as they live on. He began for left school at form five. Because his daddy died. He didn't go to school. But luckily, he helped him for can work in a back place like a fat table in England. When he went to England, he went to England, continued education. He ended up in Oxford. First, he got a degree in law. From there, he go to medicine. Today, he's one of the top surgeons. Now he discovered this keyhole surgery. I told him, you know, because in fact, one time when the Christian Castillo has been getting cardiac arrest yeah. in Paris, now he's men But they know we were saying that's I mean, at the end of the day, when the Christian Castillo came around, when everybody, you know, give up saying this man and die longer, they gave him to Dr. Lynch. He brought him back. So you see, education, when you give opportunity to everybody, it happens for everybody. Yeah. Now, as a professor of medicine, the man may became what you call uh, a queen surgeon in England. If you didn't sit down, at one five, you'll be able to continue. You know, so, you know, my bank is not for the cold money. Yeah. So that opportunity will present you, give the children a surgeon. Now, one of the reasons we make like, Oh, okay. And um, uh, you see President Biona, a listening president and democratic president. And they take education very seriously. And compassion. Yeah. And the Which other reason again will make you decide for choose SLPP now? Because SLPP, my party will only put a glass ceiling for anybody, irrespective of any tribe, who say come out. SLPP is the only party. We don't get leaders and presidents from the north and from the south. While other parties, they're always from one part of the country. SLPP, as the name goes, is for the people of Sierra Leone. SLPP, na party we they form, they act like in the north, na Kambia, and northern chiefs, they come together and go with them. Colleagues na the south, say, let's form this party. And that is the name of the party we make to today, I think, say, the mantra, you know, one country, one people, one people, and they mean it. Look at me sitting here. Exactly. I tell me an APC man at the time, until Friday the 28th last week. Exactly. You know, the APC man. They look at me, they see one guy put in a Nakovac first, but it's for six years to wake up. After that, they say, can't be minister. They not tell me, say, can't join SLP. They never did. Nobody asked me. Yeah. They took me, you know, APC, they know that. But because they believe, say, I get something for contribute to their own agenda, they say, come and join us. They will serve and go before, irrespective of which party you're there. But other parties now, they, it's usually mono-ethnic, if you like, uh, concentrate in one area, mono-regional. But um, this one, it's all over the place. And for me, as a statesman, who I don't call myself at the time, one for six Sierra Leone go before. At my age, I want to leave my footprints in the sands of time. The people let me say, Alpha can we pass now, I try there. And when we pass now, let me say, oh, you favor this side against that side. I don't favor nobody. I favor Sierra Leone. And Sierra Leone is my own focus for now. Like I kind of can say, when you put Salon first, because Paupa Salon, salon better. Eh? Not too soon. Yes. And that is what President Bill has done. They don't put Salon first. In Salon, they pan better. There are so many things that are happening. Yeah. So much infrastructure. So much involvement in the development of Salon. Even in the midst of uh, COVID, in the midst of the war in Ukraine, this man able, like he's sorry for him. Because after 2018, when they announced him as president in April, not too soon? Yeah. Less than a year. Later, yes. huh? COVID-19 Exactly. So, right. By the time COVID-19, Ukraine don't come. The war. So we've been struggling, one, to maintain the country during these hardships, but at the same time, they try to promote the development of the country and keeping us from being infected. It don't do well. So I believe, say, for now, he has done the first half of the game. Yeah. And when you change captain, Exactly. Half. <laughs> but half time, you know, they change up. So they will finish. <laughs> yeah. And um, the plan.
Sandy people and can say president be all the SLPP in a tribalistic party. You are saying not an explain to people them. Let them say we understand see. Okay, tribalistic how? If it is tribalistic, it means the one party, the one tribe man would be. Now look at this. President Bill is from the South. His vice president is from Potoko. Then the number two. The Speaker of the House, who is number three in the government, is from Potoko. Then the North. Not so. The Minister of Finance today is from Cambia. The Deputy Minister of Finance. It's from Bingola. All the one in Nila before you. Yes. These are all the people who not come out from the southeast. And Dr. Alpha Uri, who is now Professor Alpha Uri, Minister of Tertiary and Higher Education. Yeah. It's from Binti. The Minister of uh, Labour and social security, Alpha Timbo, is from Karine. Yeah. I am from Potoko. So many people. Yeah. And even in the West here, you have a lot of other people, like the Deputy Minister of Energy, Elder Taylor, Dr. Elder Taylor, is from Waterloo. So how can you say that this government is tribalistic? It's not possible. So then you will not just as a propaganda uh, cloak with a one word and then one word and the government when people are like we will know we not agree for letting your life and person in their life and they get people around them so that is not true it is not tribalistic at all and look at all of the things that we but uh, Julius Mada build don't do for me in the north especially for local district the airport we people let me say they will move we shall win they airport, they don't only keep and they, they build new one. We mean the people of Lokomasama, Kafubula, Bakeloko, and Kamasono, they get something to look up to. If they open up the value of the land, the man promised say he would build a bridge for extend return, at the same time make valuable the land across there for us in the area. And he's going to do that. He built the COVID hospital in public. So we hold that many issue, that many, that many declaration. He built the girls' school for us. Now, right now, he built a boarding school for them. He built the factories, five factories already ongoing in uh, Songo. One of them, I wrote that they make. The other one, they didn't make engine oil. The other one, they make these plastic chairs with an input. Factories didn't know where they begin to make them. The vegetable oil will they eat, will they import. Factory they will they make an this place. And last week, they go open an industrial zone. The second since 1961, where they be open the Wellington industrial zone. Instead of open one Nakoya, that is going to have 52 factories. We will manufacture goods they will not necessarily for the moment. They either come from China, Europe, America or even Guinea next door. And then they make zinc, I'm not going to buy again. They go to make tiles, I'm not going to buy them again. They go to make glass, I'm not going to buy them again or go other side. We go to export even. We have minerals. Even some of it is going to be melted. For give me steel bars. We we'll get for the we'll bring again at high cost with the effect we the foreign exchange. So for me this government for now, and for the Sierra Leoneans, they put their hand behind, just like how we can cheer in Leon Stars, yeah. for cheer in President Bureau. They go in the second term as captain of Sierra Leone, make you go win this match for you. Yeah. And uh, in percentage, from 1 to 10, in percentage, how confident are you, say President Bureau, will win this 2023 election? 8.5 out of 10. And um, what is your political strategy or political plan for the president to win this election? Well, I always don't talk to you know, the left winger. I don't say the left wing the week 19. 
Now I'm going to come as if I left me. I mean, I left me. I know my living at the play. So I want to stay there. I come to Freetown only once, maybe every two weeks. I spend two days, I go back. I put local, I leave. I come here, I leave. I carry here, I leave. These are the areas where we weak in the attack. We weak in the defense. So for me, I don't did it. I did play good number 11, and I came lap down and number 3 and go up. So I did it, I did camp and the defense, I go up. But I left wing, we don't need really ball lick it again. So we just send them over. And that is my strategy. Let's get our people to believe that this party in a day became, in fact, now we left them. Now we give them. But we take a picking, you don't wash them. We did throw any water. You will not mistake throw any water with the picking. Now you make. But this picking don't go grow now. Now I'm in the line. It don't go grow in the southeast. But he says, I don't come and say, I'm back home. What you go do? This now, a well grown up gentleman, a yuppie, where they look well and you're ready for do things for me. So now for just accept and say, our child is back home. That is the SRPP. And me and one of the people that really welcome at home. He's not even a prodigal. We're going to meet where I am. We threw the baby with the bathwater. <laughs> so that day, we don't apologize. We want an apology. And also an appreciation to the Southeasterners for letting go groom that baby. They still come back because they are magnanimous. The people they like for share. The people they like for we we get posting most of our team was they brought us back here. Look at that. Most of the people them. Now the north man. Now the southeast now they married. Yeah. The best partners now they they could bring and come. Not so? Yeah. So it means that these people are welcoming. And if then they welcome, we will say for welcome them. And the fact that then said bring the beginning can give you back, say look out. By giving us give the child once and now twice. And I've and Alpha Wuri, and Alpha Timbo, and Lobon Wuri, and Tumani Denke, and Almani H. Bangui, and myself, and so many others, and Kaloko, and Fantamadi, as Minister of Finance, and all that able. Who you pull that they go for go hunting? You know, get cartridge, you know, help them for hunting. They go, they go shoot the buffalo, big, big one. They can I say, Bona can go help me. Let's bring this buffalo home. Lord can share him. Lord take him. We fit good and I'll go help and total black and home. And this time when it go into the hunting, now we all they go. So this time we will give buffalo. Now elephants will they bring him. <laughs> like God. <laughs> and Boku Boku elephants. Yes. And um, you have been so long in politics. Who's them would they expect AK 11 for guitar in politics? I'm retired. <laughs> in active politics? Yeah, I'm retired. Oh. When I be active, they, they see me every day. <laughs> like, retirement at the Oh, okay. It's a gradual retirement. Yeah. I'm going to go soon. Oh, okay. You know, but we want to make sure that by the time we leave, this country for not unite. This country for speak with one voice. This country for be cohesive. This country all man for like each other. This country we know for hate people because they come from different tribes. This country, like a new way, so we two big sisters. One married in Adabu, the other one married in Akandi, like a person in Akandi Kando. And the one we married in Akandi Kando, he died recently, last oh, year. But he gets, party. thank you, but he left family there, from the children to the grandchildren to the great grandchildren, 85 of them. One of them is called Alpha Khan. Wow. Inside Kandi Kandi Kando, Jayama Bongo, the other big sister, he married in Adabu. Paramount Chief of Daru in Big Brother. Chief Ngomu uh, Clark uh, Kalon in Big Brother. Pamomo Kalon, he married his sister. I get picking them. Na Daru, I get picking them. Na the South, I get picking them across. So how? We meet in the house. We were, we are married. In brother and sister, then go by the South. And the East. So, where is the division? Now we, as politicians, now we they bring division. <coughs> Sometimes when we run out of ideas, <coughs> when we get a message, we throw it the tribal card. That now intellectual dishonesty. Now I made it against Now I make a grab. I make myself the bridge. 
between North and South. I make myself the ferryman for those progressives within our APC, NGC, PDP, this and that. This time, because we have a good leader, then we all can at this ferry, come help out. You know, in 1980, when uh, President Ronald Reagan made a contest against uh, President Jimmy Carter, when a Democrat, the Democrats, as he say, Reagan had a better chance for bringing America up. So the Democrats, they move. Then vote for Reagan in 1980. Then vote for him in 1984. Then they vote for a vice president, the first George Bush, in 1988. Not only now when there's Bush no measure up, like uh, Reagan, and then the Democrats that bring Bill Clinton in 1992. And he said Bill Clinton has more energy, more charisma, and more, uh, much more of a message for the American people, they come back. And when they come, some Republicans follow them, they can vote for. So this is what we're going to do in Sierra Leone, progressive politics. Now that's kind of the, the, the pitch. Now that's President Bill the pitch. That is what I follow. That's what I believe. So the progressives, they are Sierra Leone. When I can't join me at the ferry, I am the ferryman. And President Bill the captain. Let me carry this school, the Sierra Leone, Perango, to a destination of development. So that, power, power. When Salon, you put force. Salongo Bente. Okay, before I go to the last question, um, there is this rumor they go around, being that you, by legend, in politics and salon, maybe you get an idea, say some high profile APC membership, they left the country, go to England without using the Freetown International Airport, is that true? Well, I just got that information today myself. <clears throat> in fact, I see pictures when in the, at the airport, my king. But I don't understand. The map must have their own reason. But it is true that some people traveled to a neighboring country for going to England. The reason, I don't know. Maybe they have other businesses to do in Guinea. Then they kill in several birds with one stone. And I make when I left one time in Bashanda, but I don't know what they are doing in Guinea and why they had to leave on Tuesday for travel today or yesterday for Mekden College, England, while we have flights that can take you to Belgium and take you to France, can take you to Istanbul and can take you to Morocco when you can connect one hop to England. Why do they go through the strain of either going by boat or by road, the hassle, or even on bicycle, or Canada, to get to Guinea for making them go fly to England? That I don't know. But the rumor is strong, and I have seen pictorial evidence of their presence inside Guinea Airport. And I know say some don't go, some still left now Guinea. So maybe they will. But I don't know. I would not do that. We get a beautiful airport, and I get for work around the sun. I get a tunnel within the called a satellite finger when you work up from the building right into the plane in Bele. Exactly. Miss Everett experienced that because from you to Salon, I feel seen that you are still the way you Salon. Exactly, exactly. See? So I wonder why then for ignore the airport and pass through water and go fly on the side. Really, really, no patriotic. They must have their reasons. And whatever that reason is, me are not good Because I should be proud of my country. I should be proud of waiting the leader of the country they do for promote the country. Don't tell the colleague about other people when I reached Kataka, Kotoka Airport, Nakra, I'm all teeth. When I go to Bole Airport, na Addis Ababa, I the colleague. When I go to Lagos, when I go to Abuja, Na Namdia Zikwe Airport, or Mutala Mohammed, at the college. When I reached Na Blaise Jan, Na Dakar, at the college, Le Paul Sedar Senghor Airport, at the college, even Guinea, Lena Gore, at the college. But now that we have one that can match or even surpass some of those, Ebra, anytime I get opportunity, I will use that airport as a Sierra Leone. Even if I have to pay a little bit more, because my pride costs. No get price. 
I want for like Sierra Leone go before. I want the people that say begin look at Sierra Leone. Only very recently, the Times magazine does select Sierra Leone among the ten most beautiful places on earth to visit. Why are we not for be proud of that? The UNDP they say Sierra Leone at the most hospitable people on earth. Why shouldn't we be proud of that? The United Nations say Sierra Leone is the most peaceful country in Africa. Why are we be proud of that? I mean, in, in the sub-region, and I think the fourth most peaceful in Africa. Why are we not be proud of that? They say in Sierra Leone, we say the death rate among belly women. And where they die when they go for the bomb. It don't reduce from 2018 to now by 60%. In 2018, they may describe me as one of the countries where it is the worst place on earth to be a woman of childbearing age. 1,700 women when they die out of every 100,000 we go for the bomb. But today, about 400. But President Bill say that 400 day is still a lot. Picking them where they die before the age five, what they call infant mortality. That one day might have been the highest in the world, or the worst in the world. But all that don't change by 33% during these five years with President Bill Day. So everything is happening and happening for the good. And then in the blame we say we people them. Not the benefit by the minerals when they come out my Sierra Leone. I see President Bill twice now, and the third time. First time last year in May, a go na very well to the Tonkolili Iron Ore. It go give the communities 5.5 billion euros from their own share of the one percent where the government where the company they export. Then, then last month we go Mabuka, it go give the same community 20.3 billion for the share. And what about us now in Protocol District? Nobody will ever get anything. Nobody will ever get anything. Right? Nobody will ever get anything. But this time, last week, you go give 38 billion millions. Can you imagine that? 38 billion between Mafoki and Marampa. You know how many people there are in Mafoki and Marampa together? It's about 40 billion. 40 million people. 40,000. Yeah. 40,000 people. So if they just say, oh, shape that money, they assume, say, you run up to 40 billion, it means at least everybody will be born in another place. They will get 10 million. We will pick him up. Yeah. Baby, we'll, everybody will get 10 million in my pocket. Yeah. We will not be able to get before. Yeah. That 10 million is for everybody. It's a, the community will they grow. Well, now we are going to use it to pay for scholarships for children. We're going to use it to build schools. We will use it now for build town halls. We will use it for build the covert, access, roads, and all that for our people. And even bring some electricity, solar lights to those communities we never see light. All this is happening. And now, President Bioda is saying every company where they work myself, the man, go 1% for left now. This is not something we, me as Mines Minister, I did not put my day, act back in 2010. But when I come up now the ministry, then change into 0.01%, which means they divide them by 100. So that 38 billion will they go give you so. If not be that 0.01%, you know the we touch 38 billion. You know what you forget? 38 million. Can you divide them by 100? So just that. Can you imagine? Compare that from 38 billion to 380 million. No, President Bill don't do well. Yeah. He deserves a second term. Exactly. Yeah, for the referee, blow the whistle again, and we get the captain flag, they fly him for Sierra Leone, they lead the Leone Stars into victory for 2028. Okay, yeah. Waiting will be final statement, or final and convincing statement for Salon people and for let them vote President Bill for the second term. Well, let's learn on people and take example from history. Because in life, 
God is with the signs. The environment speaks to us. History speaks to us, but we need to pay attention. When you open your ears and eyes and study your environment, study your history, study what they call your anthropology, you see, see, there are patterns in life where they repeat themselves. After every period, like like how the day don't come off cancel, even thing will come, net will come. We go repeat back tomorrow. The day will come. That's called a cycle. The moon, they go round the sun every 30 days. Then the new month, it will repeat back after. When June come, July will come. August will come. When rain season come, dry season come, next year rain season will come back. There's a cyclic thing. So even with mortal man, your life, today you go day up, tomorrow they go down. They go up, you can't down. They go up. Life is sinusoidal. Cyclic, they go up, can down, go up, can down. There are times when every country God did you a leader. And I think that cycle, it was a little a hundred years. When I think by the earliest history we may remember, in 1585, Nakoya in Timni land, we get a powerful Timni king called by Farmatami Nakoya for the record British Guyana. Mm -hmm. That one day, now he stopped the Monday invasion coming in from Liberia and Cote d'Ivoire for come up, for Casuela, the northern part of the country. My family tell me, block that. They know it will pass. Because they are scouts where they can send. Yeah. No, it will turn back for go tell them the positions of the defenses and the military and all that. So the scouts didn't go back. The scouts didn't stay. But they don't turn the lockers this day. So by far my time he made sure that without firing a shot, without you know chap nobody hit, he able control. That was a great leader. Then what else? Another hundred years later, 1685. When then Sir John Hawkins they come, when they can begin the thief with people they are, they decide say they want to penetrate. The Potloko Creek of the estuary for go up towards Potloko and enter the hinterland by boat. We get a leader, a prepare at the time, called by Adam Kaba in 1685. He stopped them, he contained them in that estuary, and that be forced them for go build Bones Island because I didn't know where they would stop. But I had them not allow them for enter. So they begin the trading now, people they come and go, but they couldn't go there. So they built Bones Island as the halfway station from within them. That was by the Abdul Kaba. That's 100 years after by Farmatami. Now after 1685, we get 1787. What is it? 1787, what did happen? The British come when they freed the slaves in England and Nova Scotia, Scotland, and Canada. They say, look, okay, they go to Africa. They choose Sierra Leone, the Sierra Leone Peninsula. Then Canada, they can have, we just want to take the land. So, not to so. Mm -hmm. They meet King Nembana. He said, no, we own this land. We own this land. We own this land. You want it, you pay us for it. So he forced them to enter into a lease for 200 years for the peninsula. It will expire in 1987. So if the Kuya team want to take Freetown now, they can take Freetown by law. Because the lease, they expire 200 years since 1987. But we are nice people. We don't deny, don't they? We forget it. We are not the same people. But that was another great leader. 100 years after by Adam Kabar. What is so? What was the other big event that happened in Sierra Leone? 1898, another hundred years later. What is By Bure. What is Yeah. When the leaders, when the British then decide, say, every African man, every Sierra Leonean, we build a house. You build an Atonko, you build an Amakenu, you build an Apoloko, you forbid tax to the Queen of England, Queen yeah. Victoria. By Bure said, eh? 
But this is strange. But let me build me us. Let me coach me tick. Let me get me land. I can't build this us. Then I have to pay rent to somebody where I know Sabi self. He said this not will be. And if I do pay rent, waiting a new representation in the government with this man say he get. He say we no go down because we are not part of that government. That is where the independence movement started. Taxation without representation. He said no good green. So Bible started. In fact, the whole independent movements in Africa started from Bible. That was a great man in 1898. Not so. Then what happened again? In 1991, we get problems with the war. Not so. The war was raging, 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 raging until 1996. Not so. When President Julius Madabio came. Not so. That was the time he went into the bush for good bring food is and Bianca, no talk. This war will not go down by fighting. Let us talk. What do you want? The man say you want to be vice president. I say, okay, me and a young man. We're going to do an election. There's going to be a, a leader here. That will be that they will go talk to him in my hand in over notes. Make them able for give you a job with equivalent to that of a vice president, which is why they give him the strategic minerals. Vice president equivalent. Not so. The war done. Not so. Wasn't he great? That was another great man, 1996, is a hundred years from Baibure. And he's still there, President Bio. You know, wait another hundred years for the other one come. Me, I know good day, I don't know if you go there. <laughs> so this one he did for Spreadley and Smallow, who and Force. This five years we don't ask me for, and we know he can run the country. He got given the long life and well body. Look, given the opportunity. Let finish the work. We don't start. Let we all this time. A PCO, a CLPPO. Once you are progressive, you want Sierra Leone, NGC, we don't vote for President Bill. Let us give him the mandate to feel good and build Sierra Leone for us. Bring peace. President Bill, I bring peace. I may God say, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Not just so. Yeah. And then everything they say again. They say, Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. President Bill, when he comes, you meet with people and they cry after the rebel war. Not just so. You yeah. bring the peace. They comfort the comrade by doing what? Free, yeah, quality, sure. education. That's comfort. Yeah. What is true? Man, this man, let me not play with him at the moment, no left hand force. He has not asked us for anything. Me, no ask me like join myself with him. I chose to do it so. For give him courage, make it carry on, because that's what I wanted to do as Alpha Kanu. When I be asked, say, I want to be president of Sierra Leone. But my party not going to give me the opportunity. So if I see somebody with the do, which he be one for do. Hey, pa, all I get for do, the man tote load, heavy load, he they claim hill, that hill they get bala, he sleep full. Then tie it in, pan and back, then the drum. No, me go cut that chain, I go fall around. So I go push him, I get fan safe, I go the fan and I carry on. Now you able this load, me I did before, you did be you. Now you fall around. No fan of making care this load go up to where we are supposed to be. Look, Senegal today, they don't get minerals. The first fit they get on some iron ore. But they get bullet train. They get two airports, big ones. They are training their people, they become international civil servants because of the education we then get. Everywhere. We see that in Sierra Leone, we don't see the example of what in education they do. Oh no, we we'll fight against the talk about Singapore, South Korea and all that. Yeah. Yeah, in Sierra Leone. In Sierra Leone, in the western area, we have a tribe called the Creole. None of them know they will not go to school. None. And where are they today? And then they manage the finances of the country, the businesses, the banks, the hospitals, and everything. Because they learn book. 
Why not? That's the difference between them and countrymen. Yeah. So now that President Bill say, let me equalize. Let me country man who the crew at the same level. Exactly. Let me get. That is why he brought the free education. So there is no more discrimination because of lack of access. If person know better now, then I ain't not be serious. But President Bill is providing the platform and the enabling environment for let everybody prosper. Now Sierra Leone, the crew one hundred percent literacy. The Aku Mohammed and who they call Frobe and uh, Fulatong. Fulatong and Abadin and uh, Funkia. 100% literacy. Nobody knows they win no land book. I see say that they get them professor them. That they get them big doctor. All of them. Because of education. Yeah. So President Bill is taking the education to the village so that we also could be the same. Now let's for the compare with safe food. Uh, one for be like Singapore, no. Let us say one for be like the Creole, one for be like the Fulbe, one for be like the, the Fulaton, the Abadin, and the Funkia people. They had access to education. This access now in President Bill don't can give it. Let we all embrace them. Let we push the old man get back. So now that I get for say to say Leonans, I believe say, that I get is and one Sierra Leone for good before, good job. They will pray God again, say, let the 1% of Sierra Leoneans we not believe God, say good day, because 99% of Sierra Leoneans are either Muslims or Christians. 99%. Deeply religious country. We all defeat God. So that 1% will not believe, now then they cause that problem for we. They will pray God. Let them pastor them, pray for them. Let them imam them, pray for them. Let their hearts turn. Let we all be the same. No afraid God. If we all afraid God like this country, we will get peace. And if you have peace, we will get development. We will get development, one man go eat. If we get development, the next thing is for let we build the agriculture. We know that the president is next agenda. And that's when he launched the manifesto. Now we go bring Canto now. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks so very much for in this particular meeting with you today and God bless you when we found them this now Baba Sheikh the people them defender and political offender with another edition of the program do don't clean with honorable AK 11 until next time Namidi say ta ta